Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today I have some really cool news. It came out about a month ago and I remember reading it and I totally forgot to make a video on it because obviously in December I had to focus on work and this was around the time we lost our supervisor at work. So I was working even more and, uh, and kind of stressed out. So I made a note to come back to this at some point and then just completely forgot. <laughs> so I'm bringing it to you today uh, about a month late. Um, some people asked me, actually uh, one person in particular was like, how do you know your th you had a theory in one of your videos and your live streams where you said that uh, Venom's probably going to film in London until the end of January and then it'll probably go to February. It'll move over to San Francisco. Why did you say that? Do you know something? And uh, yes, I do know that it's going to film in February in San Francisco, and here's why. This is the article that kind of gave that information away to me. Um, this is from San Francisco Examiner. This came out December 19th, I think, uh, right before Christmas. And uh, see this island here? So this was at one point uh, a production area where they did a lot of filming. I don't think they did anything for Venom 1 here, so it was kind of like shut down or not, not up and about uh, during that time. But they built these sound stages and these studios on this place that they call Film Treasure Island. Uh, and it's an area of San Francisco. You can see the, the bridge in the background there. It's really, really cool. I think this might be where they did some of X-Men Last Stand. I can't really remember in full. Um, so it's been a while, I as far as I remember. So don't quote me on any of this stuff as, as far as, you know, because I'm going off memory for this part. Um as far as I know, they haven't filmed stuff over here in a while. So they're just, the mayor released a statement about how they're opening it back up. So it says film production to resume on Treasure Island. Uh, this is from, like I said, December 19th, 2019. So about a month ago. And it says a 79,000 square foot space used to produce films in San Francisco's Treasure Island is back in business. Thanks to a new lease that Mayor Landon or London Breed announced on Wednesday. In the past, the space at Hangar 3 has been used as a stage space to build sets for blockbusters like Mrs. Doubtfire, Bicentennial Man, Rent, Patch Adams, and many more. However, in 2010, set production stopped in Hangar 3, and since then it's been used by companies to stage large construction projects. Uh, through a new lease with the Treasure Island Development Authority, the new space called Film Treasure Island will now provide a dedicated space for the region's film industry. So I'll put a link because I don't want to read the whole article here, um, but I'm going to put a link down below to this so you guys can check it out for yourself. Uh, and we're going to get to the part where it involves Venom. So so right now you're kind of like, wait, what's going on? What's the point of this? You know, uh, The point of this is to bring more jobs to the San Francisco Bay Area uh, so that more people can get into production and more people can work on film and stuff. So that's kind of the hope here is to kind of give a little boost to the economy of San Francisco and bring more jobs, especially film related jobs and, uh, and, and bring back movies uh, on a level to where they can film in this locale uh, for I'm hoping, you know, maybe for a good price or however can the taxes work on it. I can't, I don't know all that, those kind of details. Um, but uh, having this area again is going to be great and it's going to open up doors to, to new you know, uh, scenarios and, and places to film that we haven't seen in movies in, you know, almost 10 years. So, uh, so it's pretty cool because it closed down or they stopped doing it in 2010. Uh, and that was 10 years ago. So this is neat that they're kind of bringing this back and they give you more information about the property and the equipment and employees and, and kind of what their goals are. And it says here, our long-term goal is to couple the hangar and support space with purpose built sound stages that would complement any new development on the island. Historically, when we have developed studio projects, the surrounding areas sees an increase in tax revenue along with job creation in different fields and property values skyrocket as well, said Mark Walter, manager of studio developments of Cinelease Incorporated, which is a partner of Film Treasure Island. And right here, Film Treasure Island's first film called Fillmore is set to start shooting in San Francisco in February. Um, many of you may remember back in, uh, well, months ago, back in September, I think, of last year of 2019, they announced that Venom 2 is going to be filming under the code name Fillmore. And I know some people will be like, dude, no, that's, you know, that's a coincidence. Like, you're, you're just, you know, you're just, uh, uh, Fillmore is maybe a, a name of another movie. Um, well, before you jump to that, let's check out this other article that kind of backs up this statement and what I'm talking about. So this other article here, Move Aside Hollywood, Treasure Island is back for filming. Um, again, showing you another angle of the space and where the stage three is going to be uh, built up. There's roads that lead to it. It looks really nice. Great background. You get to see the city um, and those mountains back there, which I think the Life Foundation was 
I don't think it was attached to that mountain. Maybe it was the one to the left. I can't remember, but um, really cool stuff. This is a, a view of Treasure Island from Yerba Bueno Island on uh, Wednesday, February 20th. So cool stuff. They, but here they say, you know, the space dubbed film Treasure Island could potentially open up thousands of jobs for the Bay Area locals across entertainment and construction. Uh, which would be great uh, to bring all those jobs. And I'm going to close that ad there for a second. Uh, and it says here, and now that ad is blocking the area I, I want to look at, which is frustrating, uh, but you can see the words Venom 2 there. It says, currently the first project that will be using that space is Sony Pictures Fillmore, which is, and it says something like, uh, is is rumored to be Venom 2 in February. Um, but yes, so Sony Pictures is Fillmore, so that confirms that it's specifically uh, a Sony movie, uh, and the only Sony movie in production right now is Fillmore or Venom 2, which is going by the codename Fillmore. Oh, it says which alleges is Venom 2, but it is Venom 2. So this is the backup show, showing proof that it's a Sony production uh, named Fillmore coming to uh, to this studio. So uh, yes, yeah, so filming right now in London. I know a lot of people are saying like, oh, you know, we haven't seen a lot of behind the scenes stuff. We haven't seen, you know, leaked pictures or nothing like that. I theorized about that in my last video where I, you know, the one that just went up before this one, where I said that the, the filming just now is leaving closed sets um, and they're now starting to film in certain areas in London, but they can't do too much because London is very distinct look and, uh, and they can't, they can shoot around things that could pass for San Francisco architecture, but for the most part, they're going to try to shoot everything inside over there and uh, then move over to San Francisco and shoot a lot of exteriors in San Francisco. So I have a feeling that in February, we are going to start seeing leak stuff. There will be people on the side of the road that will see Tom Hardy go by and they'll film and we'll get more stuff like that. Um, which we, you know, we had like yapping to base. She's this young lady that lives in San Francisco and she sent us like a little video and a picture that she took personally of Tom Hardy when he was like visiting near her work in San Francisco. Uh, so shout out to Yap in the base. So, you know, again, chances are that could happen again where, you know, people out there see him and hopefully they come across this show and they share that information with us and we can, you know, shout them out and, and, uh, and, uh, and, you know, and share their information with you guys who are Venom fans and we can talk about it at that point, uh, the way Yap in the base did. So, uh, yeah, you know, this is neat news and I just thought, Hey, this gives you a, a you know, kind of like a, a little bit more of a picture frame or like a little, uh, you know, frame of reference, I guess I should say, not a picture frame, but a frame of reference of, you know, the production schedule of this movie. It looks like, you know, January is wrapping up soon. They got about another week left in, you know, in London. And I have a feeling that maybe mid, you know, early to mid February, they're probably going to move over to San Francisco. According to this, they already have plans to start filming in uh, February in San Francisco. So, you know, we'll probably get more stuff very, very soon. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad I tracked down this information. I can't believe I completely forgot about it. I was cleaning out my phone and I was like, why did I save these two articles from San Francisco weekly and from the examiner? Uh, why did I do that? And then I was like, Oh, right. That's uh that talks about venom two stuff. So there you go. There's some venom two news for you that uh, other people out there aren't talking about too much. And it gives you more of a, a, you know, frame of reference, like I said, of what the production schedule is like. They'll probably film for about a month, maybe in San Francisco and wrap up the film by, you know, mid to late March at the latest I'm thinking, and then just get right into, you know, post-production, which I believe has already began. Like post-production usually also starts running while, you know, production's going on so they can send footage back and, and start getting the, the you know any footage up res or you know they start you know compiling it together uh, categorizing it um, and things like that so uh, chances are that's already started and post-production's already kind of began on some level and then they'll fly full on into it once Andy Serkis is free uh, from you know working on this film filming whatever he needs to film for the Batman and then going right into the editing bay and working with the editors on, you know, the, the wrap up of uh, Venom 2 and getting it in theaters by October, I think is the current plan. So let me know what you think of this information and uh, I will continue to track down more stuff. You know, uh, thankfully that uh, university filming stuff came from Venom Gaming. So I want to give him another shout out. And because he did that, you know, and I came across these articles, I was like, cool, let's get back into the rhythm of digging for information for this movie because it is slow right now, but I'm glad I was able to bring two videos to this weekend and one of them because of Venom Gaming. So big shout out to him. And then the other one here, because I uh, did this research in December and then completely forgot about it. So, uh, so yeah, I'm so sorry about that. So I'm glad I could bring it to you today. So thank you so much for watching the show. As always, let your comments be known down below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.